I make no secret that I love all things cars. Fixing up an old car to me is the ultimate labor of love. It requires a whole lot of time and patience. Most importantly, a really good garage. Today, I'm here in South Carolina to visit Allison, and behind these garage doors, there's a world of art waiting for me. Hey! Hey! You must be Allison! I am! Nice Hi. to meet you! Nice wow. to meet you! I wasn't sure if I was going to find an old hot rod in here or what, but this is unbelievable! Well, thank you! All resin all the time! Have you always been an artist? I've always enjoyed art, so I've always been into anything that was in the arts. So mom never knew how to wear makeup and took me to someone when I was in eighth grade and said, okay, fine, if you're going to wear it, you're going to wear it right. So I was completely amazed when the woman taught me how to do makeup. So from there, I started working summers, um, coming back from college and doing makeup. Just kept doing that, moved to New York City and ended up becoming a national resident makeup artist. And then about two years ago, I was picking up some paints at one of the local art stores and found resin and was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. What exactly is resin art? Resin art is essentially when you take resin and a hardener, it's a two component, you mix them together, it catalyzes, and you can add your paints, um, pigments, whatever you want, and you just treat it as if you were pouring paint and it comes to a glossy finish. There's a lot more to it, I think, than people would realize. It seems simple, but yet, when you see how it all comes together, it's incredibly complex. It looks very easy, it seems as if you pour it, but resin is a liquid, so until it cures, it does what it wants. Mm -hmm. I'd love to learn how this works. Can you put me to work somehow? The first step in the process is to prepare a one-to-one -one mixture of resin and a hardening catalyst. Gently stirring for about three minutes removes any strings and assures the mixture will harden. You are doing great. While the chemical reaction was taking place, Allison was busy preparing my palette. A nice deep black and that signature continental gold seemed appropriate for today's masterpiece. And I was eager to put my nose to the grindstone. All right, so this is your piece. Okay. You can pour it anywhere you want. Anywhere. How am I doing? You're doing great. I well, I was trying to do like a tire circle here. And remember, resin moves, so. It really does. This is gonna look really not like any of your pieces in a good way, I think. <laughs> Once I mastered a basic black circle, I really felt like I was hitting my stride. Although my painting was looking more like a breakfast griddle. Three eggs, sunny side up. It's weird that it's, even as I do this, it's somehow getting worse. Channeling my inner Bob Ross, I had to keep reminding myself there's no mistakes in painting, just happy little accidents. With a few final details to my tire omelet, it was obvious Allison's job was safe. I don't think she was passing the torch off to me quite yet. Oh, wait, apparently she was. So now I have a torch. Yes, you do. Allison, what do we do now? Okay, so you're just gonna run it across. Okay. And you're gonna take out all the bubbles and you'll also see that, see the gold, how it pops up. Oh, look at that. Oh, now it's a totally different yep. piece. This is so cool, but I can see a lot of other pieces here. What are some of the other things that you do with resin art? A lot of charcuterie boards, coasters, a lot of functional art. Really, people could have a chance to own a piece of your art that can be used every single day, whether it's on the wall in their home or on their table. While my Grand Slam breakfast platter cured for the next few hours, Allison had a few appointments with clients, so she let me tag along for the afternoon. So we hit the road, where she estimates she spends more time behind the wheel than she does in front of her art. Easily two, three hours a day, at least, between picking up resources, materials that I need, visiting clients. So I would say I probably do minimally 150, 200 miles a day. That would be minimal. All right, let's get after it. All right. I got to see firsthand one of Allison's pieces in Chelsea's home office, and I was blown away with how beautiful her artwork was on full display. It's all about taking what their love is for design and decor and making this more of an attractive appeal for them within their space. I got to see the evolution of the painting. So every layer, you would send pictures. I even went to her studio. She's like, Am I, is this the right direction? Like, it's incredible. So yeah, it was very custom. And who said being an artist was only about creativity? We spent half the afternoon taking measurements because I learned that the scale of the artwork is every bit as important as the aesthetics. So this is Heather, she's a new client, 
And so basically, Heather invited me in and said, let's take a look at the space. Walking into Heather's house, how do you kind of look at all the components and how do you figure out what you could create for this wall? Right, so I basically look at how she has it designed. So what I think we should do first is measure it out and then let me come up with a couple of options of designs for you and then we'll draw it out and let you see what you think you would prefer. This is so cool. Thank you for letting me see this part of the process. Heather, thanks for letting me come join Allison here. Um, but could we go back and check on my piece now? We certainly can. I just want you to know, it, it's not probably the right color pattern for your home, but we'll send you a picture. Okay, I can't wait. Thank you. Yes, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Love getting to see an artist work with a client to figure out exactly what they want. To see that all come together, to have a vision to work with a client like that, that's special. I think it looks pretty cool. I think it looks awesome. I feel like it probably still needs a little more time to dry. Yes, it does. I know that inside every garage there's a story, but to see how you use yours and you've turned it into this incredible studio, and to even see your pieces in someone's home, it's just, it's amazing. Thanks for what you do. I can't wait to do something with this. I feel like I can find a nice wall to hang this on. I do think you have a new career if you want it. See more of these stories at forwhatyoudo.com.